Well, and welcome to NJ Biz Conversations. I'm your host, Jeff Kanige. Joining me today is the CEO of the newly rechristened Tech United, Tech United NJ, formerly known as the New Jersey Tech Council, Aaron Price. Aaron, welcome. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, you, you, you announced this, the rebranding today, um, and listening to the town hall you, had, you, you held to roll that out, I got the impression that this has been in the works for a while, and I'm curious as to when you started thinking about this and what the impetus was to get that process going. Well, I've been thinking about it since I started with the organization last summer when I heard from people how much they valued and appreciated the organization, but sometimes felt wanting more or different and didn't always feel like the organization sort of spoke the language of a modern tech organization. So it's been on my mind for a while. And in thinking through who do we speak to and how and the brand, we ultimately decided that taking a step forward here made a lot of sense. Okay. And what, what in your view, are the biggest changes? I mean, you mentioned on the, on the town hall, you mentioned a, a structural change um, regarding the board, forming committees, things like that. What are the biggest changes? What can members expect? What are they likely to see? I, I mean, I, I think what members can expect is a modern, refreshed approach to how Tech United New Jersey delivers value. I mean, ultimately, that's, I think, what we're, what we, what we're aiming to achieve here is, a, is raising the bar for how we can we can really make an impact in the region. And so it's, you know, we re-evaluated our, our brand positioning and we're rethinking the board structure to be more effective. And so, you know, over the years, it's, it's not unusual in organizations like this for them to, to you know, to, to get a little bit large as ours has. And so now it's, you know, the board's recognized, let, let's get focused. Let's make sure that we have structure on, with committees and clear um, um, value exchange for both the organization and the community at large. So, you know, we've reimagined the team, we've thought about our location. We, I, I was really tasked with bring a fresh look to everything inside this organization. And if there's a reason and a justification to change something, now's a time that we, the board, want to see that happen. If, and if we can justify it, let's, let's do it. And so I'm really excited about Tech United New Jersey. I do think it's a big step in the right direction. You know, we have been changing the team around a little bit. Um, and, and, you know, I just think the organization in general has, has raised the bar of how we deliver value. Are there any are there any programmatic changes, things that uh, things you'll be doing that you haven't done before, conferences, that sort of thing? Some we you know last year we hosted over a hundred live events. Um, this year, before the pandemic hit, we made a deliberate choice to decrease the number of in-person events so we could uh, you know increase the qual increase the quality, but not necessarily increase actually with a, with a significant eye towards decreasing the quantity. We were doing things on Zoom well before the pandemic hit. Obviously now we're doing everything on Zoom and we expect to at least now through the end of the year. So we've introduced programs like the Startup Showdown where entrepreneurs pitch investors live for feedback and we pick a winner. We've introduced a series called Elevate which is a general thought leadership series each week where we interview really interesting thought leaders on their entrepreneurial or, or innovative career. So we've had founders of companies that were acquired. We've had large scale you know, Fortune 500 CEOs. Um, and we've really, we've really thought about how do we make sure we speak to our, our stakeholders and provide value across the board. And so, you know, a lot of the programs are staying. Some are being folded into other programs now. Uh, you know, the foundation of the New Jersey Tech Council, I think, is very, very, very strong. It's a 24-year-old organization that's made a huge impact in the region. And so now it's, you know, just making some tweaks to, well, can we, can we step up this experience a bit? Should we fold a couple of these together because a few of them might be more impactful together? What might we fold into the the large scale Propelify Innovation Festival, what should become part of the awards gala, which you know, is still a major uh, temple event of ours. We're launching something called the State of the State of Innovation, a report that looks back and forward on, on opportunities for the region. So it's, it's just sort of, you know, it's a clear focus and an, and an up, a refreshed approach and leveling up. Okay. On the town hall, you talked about um, uh, reaching out beyond New Jersey. You said you, you were gonna say focused on New Jersey, but you did um, point out that you're, we're between two huge markets, New York and Philadelphia. Um, what, wh where do you see the, the, the role, your, your role fitting in a regional context? So with Tech United New Jersey, we will focus on New Jersey primarily, but I wanna make sure that those, that innovators around the country, especially those that are, that are our neighbors, feel welcome, are included, and can get value out of the organization. And so what I mean by that is, we're leveraging our strengths in the region, and I talked about leaning in around health tech with, a, with an effort with Hackensack Meridian, and clean tech with an effort with an alliance that we formed with PSEG, Smart Cities, 
and a few others. If there's an early stage, if there's an entrepreneur or an innovator in any other part of the planet who thinks that they could get value of being part of our organization, we want to welcome them. We don't want to see the borders as, as the doors uh, okay. where, where we close business. So we're focused on New Jersey, but I want to make people come here because the value is so great with this organization, not necessarily because it's convenient. Okay. And just, just one last thing. Um, you mentioned the pandemic. I'm curious what you're hearing from members, investors, people you, you work with every day. What's it like out there? Um, what, how are people getting along? How are you getting along? How is your organization doing? What are you, what, how, what's, your, what's your overall observation about the way people are handling things? I think that those who have been healthy, first of all, I think there's a refreshed values for everyone about, for those of us who've been healthy, I think there, there's, it's, it's been a strong reminder of, of what really matters. For the business community, many are taking a serious hit. The, the you know, Tech United, the New Jersey Tech Council, formerly, is going to be significantly impacted. Um, members are, you know, member revenues down, which means that there's less membership revenue, less sponsorship revenue. Mm -hmm. The state programs haven't addressed organizations like ours, neither of the federal programs. So, uh, I mean, we're, we'll, we're moving forward. I'm excited about what's coming and we'll be fine, I, I expect. But we're taking a big hit and, I, and a lot of, of our members are as well. And you know, so some have been able to adapt. I, I think we've done, a, I'm, I'm proud of how the things we've done. But sponsor dollars don't necessarily transfer one to one from an in-person event to to an online event. Mm -hmm. The same sponsor who may have written a bigger check last year, even if they're willing to, might not be able to this time around. So, I think you know, I think people are appreciative, uh, eager to get out of their houses and businesses, um, and, and struggling, you know, figuring out how they're going to survive this year. So that I think a lot of us are looking at, you know, okay, well, how does twenty twenty one make up for the difference? Right. But it, it's it's it, it's tough out there, so to speak. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I, we can, I think all of us can, can, yeah. can relate to, to, to that kind of statement. Okay. Anything else that I haven't asked you about, about the rebranding, about where you're going that, uh, that, that you want to, that you want to mention? The only other thing I would highlight is a significant focus on how we speak to, you know, we talk about entrepreneurs, instigators, and innovators who are inventing the future. And we, we talk about being inclusive for all those who are doing that to build a better future for all. And we thought about that positioning well before you know, a lot of what's going on in the world you know, with, with inequality. I'm particularly pleased that we, you know, that we, we believe very strongly in that. And I wanna make, you know, the tech community is not well known for being inclusive. We Tech United are not getting it right right now, mm -hmm. but it's extremely important to me that we get it right moving forward. So I do wanna highlight that the power of, of, uh, you know, of, of the opportunity that comes, that I, the reason we went with this name is that I think there's some real magic that happens when you unite communities, in this case, the technology community. I also want to make sure that we're doing it and creating that value and that magic for all kinds of people with, you know, from all different genders and backgrounds and, and races. So I, I, I think it's worth highlighting that that's a significant focus for the organization from here on out. Right. Uh, you did mention that on the town hall, as you said, um, that issue isn't solved yet. <laughs> not, at, not at your organization. I don't think at, at, at any, anybody's organization. Yeah. So it's a long way to go. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. Aaron Price, CEO of Tech United New Jersey. Thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. Okay.